So for this demo, we are going to write a script and let's say we want to promote a mobile game. Let's say we want to promote Candy Crush. You probably know Candy Crush. They do a ton of advertising. They create a lot of UGC videos, non-UGC videos. But um, for this example, we are going to say, okay, something like my mom just completed the last level of Candy Crush. Because I know the typical audience of Candy Crush is more like 45 years old, uh, 50 years old women. Look at how happy she is. She will never stop talking about this. All right. So now we have our script. And what we are going to do is add an actor. So as you can see, we have a library of hundreds of AI actors. We actually now have over a thousand AI actors in the library. And some of the AI actors are based on real humans. So for example, Victoria here, the first one, she's a real person and we licensed her likeness to be on the platform for our users to be able to use her avatar. But some other avatars, and I think we are getting to the point where it's very hard to make the difference. I still see the difference and there are still some minor details that give it away. But um, we are getting to a point where even the fully AI avatars are hard to distinguish. So if you look at the third one, Harlan right here, yeah. he is like fully AI generated. He's not based on a real person. Um, as you can see, those are ranked by most popular. So it looks like people are still preferring to use the like real people one once. But um, hey. yeah, we are getting to a point where fully AI avatars are really, really impressive. Like Charlotte hey. here is fully AI. This hey. one as well yeah. is fully AI and doesn't exist. Look at how good the lighting is. It's really, really impressive. So yeah, we have this library of existing AI actors, but you can use the filters on the left side to just find the perfect AI actor for your needs. So female, male, obviously, senior, young, etc. I'm going to just generate the video because it takes a couple of minutes so we can come back to the video. And then uh, while the video is generated, I'm generating, I'm going to show you a couple of other cool things. Remember the script was about something like my mom completed Candy Crush. So probably a 30, 25 years old actor would be perfect for this. So I added this actor. You can actually add multiple actors if you want. And that's what most of our clients do, by the way, because when you are trying to make UGC ads, very often you want to A-B test the same script, but with a different person just to see. Okay, so I think the script is pretty good. Let's generate this one and I'm going to show you a couple of other things while this one is being generated. Let me show you a couple of other exciting things. As you can see, yeah. Uh, and by the way, feel free to stop me if you have questions. Yeah, kind of like Roman, you mentioned about the A-B testing. So the A-B testing is happening in your own platform or is it kind of, kind of that customers, they will kind of publish and then see which one works better? Right now, since, uh, you know, in most cases, people will combine the AI actor with actual footages of the product. If it's an e-commerce product, it's going to be videos of the product. If it's a game, it's going to be screen shares of the game. So people still do a couple of extra edits after the generation of the video. So right now we don't really include the video edits directly in the platform. So for this reason, everything related to posting, et cetera, doesn't happen on Arcade. We really focus on like, you have a script and you want to generate someone who is reading this script, then you should use Arcade. We, for now, we are really focusing on that and focusing on providing the highest quality actors with the all the setups that you want. Okay. And in terms of like finding the perfect actors, you can obviously uh, select the gender, male, female, but you can also select the age or a couple of extra filters like this to find the perfect AI UGC for your ad. So as you probably know, people who do content marketing on TikTok, Instagram, Meta, they often need to test a lot of different types of videos and, and jump on lots of different trends. So ASMR is a trend. Sometimes they need to have an AI actor in front of the green screen because they want to have the background being removed with perfect uh, accuracy. 
AI is actually very good at removing the background, background even without that, but it, it can be helpful sometimes. Or maybe you have a gym product, like a, a health and fitness product, and you want the person who is talking to be in a gym setup. You will also find a lot of AI actors at the gym, and you can use this filter to find that. Or maybe you want to do kind of, a, you know, um, a more unique hook, you know, these hooks where they are hey, typing on the screen before the, the hey, video you. starts or just doing something funny, opening the, the door. Hey, you. So you can use this filter to find uh, these ones. You can select where the person is when they are talking. Maybe you want the person to be in the kitchen because you have a house product and um, you can even have avatars who are in movement while they speak. So maybe Angela, for example, she, she will be walking while uh, reading the script. And uh, we have some cool podcast setups. If you want to do a more professional style video, uh, we have avatars who are pregnant. Speed style is a re very nice one where you can do one person talking to another from the side. This one I really like as well in the street uh you know they are being interviewed and being asked questions it's a very native uh, format from tiktok that uh, people really love you can even control the accessory that they have so if you want them to i don't know doing the dishes while they, they they speak or maybe you want them to have a pet and only avatars for pets if you have a pet product uh it's hey uh, really you should find all the types of avatars that you are looking for when you are making a video, you can control the emotion that they have. So this means that, for example, let's say you want to do a script that is quite sad. You'll be able to find an avatar that she's like a little bit sad where they speak, maybe like this one, for hey example, and as you can see, she is not super excited while talking. So you can even control that. And lastly, you can control the skin tone of the actor. So I'm going to pause here for a second in case you, you have a question, but yeah, kind of, uh, and uh, is there kind of a way, for example, if I'm a brand and I just like want to have some videos, but I really don't know the script and I don't know some other details, is it kind of possible that I just, you know, put my request and then as a chat, as a message, and then our cats will just understand and then create the script and then create the video from what I want? So if you don't find the perfect actor in the library, what you will be able to do is to create your own actor. Okay. So we have this new feature right here where instead of like basically typing, uh, selecting an existing actor from the library, you can like type your own script. We, we just said we wanted to target like 45 uh, years old um, female uh, in the couch talking to the camera, talking, just talking, maybe something like that. You can just go ahead and type this prompt and our model that's a proprietary model will basically generate multiple images for you in a couple of seconds. So we will have them just like now, and you'll be able to basically create your own AI avatar from a prompt that's different from the one that we will have already for all users in the library. And this one will be unique to your account. You'll be the only one to be able to use this one and Let's wait a couple of seconds. It's gonna uh, yeah. be generated. Like very recently, there was a kind of new model from Google, like Y3, and that was like generating videos. So, are you guys somehow competing with them, or is it like not really a competition there? Yeah, definitely. There are some use cases where VO3 will work better than Arcad, and there are some use cases where Arcad will be better. So, we see it as something more an addition that we will actually integrate in our cards very soon where if there are a type of video that you want to do vo3 for example is very good when you want multiple things to happen in the same video you can say first it's, this happens and then this happens but vo3 is really bad if you want to use the same actor in different situations there is no for example possibility to have the same actor in two different settings so let's say you for example you really like uh, this one and you think, I think she is very realistic, but um, now you want to have her talk from a different, uh, she is in the street and she talks while walking. And maybe also she wears different clothing. You want to keep the same person basically, but um, have her with some changes. You want to have her holding a different 
clothes, you want her to be walking because in your video, you want at some point her to be from the couch, but you want her at another point to be outside. And then basically, yeah, in a couple of seconds, it generated consistent character. So this is the same person as you can see. Yeah. And she's in different setups. So maybe like this. And I think this looks like really, really good. And now you can create an actor from this person. And let's say you want to have her hold something. You have a physical product, like, uh, I don't know, you are selling a gadget or whatever product you want, uh, a bag. You can just upload the second image of your product right here and it will generate an actor of her, but she now is holding the product that you upload. This is just not possible with VO3 because it's not very good with consistency. And that's one of the use cases where Arcad is much better. Also, VO3 is limited to eight seconds. It's like um, not uh, very good for specifically making longer scripts, talking videos. So again, when in some cases, VO3 is really good and we will integrate it in the future, by the way, and you'll be able to use VO3 right inside Arcad. But in most of the use case related to UGC, you still need to um, use a platform like Arcad to create talking about us. So now your image, you like the image and you want to create an avatar from this image, you will select a voice. So gender is obviously a female. You can listen to a couple of, to a couple of voices and select the right one. Let's say you like the first one and then it's going to basically create an avatar of this person talking to the camera and then you can use it as many times as you want. I think the video is ready. The other one that we made before, so we can have a look. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good. You can just like preview the video in like full screen. You can also just download the video. And let's say you want to reuse the same script, but with a different actor. You can just click here and it will like put the script again here and you can go here and select a different actor now just to generate a new version. So that's pretty much how the platform works. It's both super simple, but also super powerful. If you want to do more complex workflows where you have one person in different setups or where you can have one person doing different stuff or holding your product, you can do that. Last thing I wanted to show you is the platform is very good at talking actors. So when you have a script and you want to generate the video of someone talking, but it's also very good at non-talking videos. So sometimes in your final video, you will want the actor to be doing something, but not necessarily be speaking. You can also do that with gestures. So it's a feature where you can go ahead and just select the right actor. And let's say you want to do some gym video where she is like, moving a little bit, just like looking at uh, the camera and like uh, just moving. And that's something you will need for your video. Uh, then you can type something like she is looking at the glass while I don't know, admiring her body, something <laughs> like that. And it's going to take a couple of minutes as well. And it's going to generate a video of her not talking, but um, just doing this uh, thing that you mentioned. It's, it works super well when you want to, to, when you want to generate videos of people doing something specifically. For example, let's say you are talking about um, a new software and you want them to be using a laptop, not necessarily talking, but they are typing on the laptop you can then select an actor like this one and say, is typing on the laptop and then in a couple of seconds uh, minutes you'll get a video of this guy typing on the laptop without talking 